Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Eric Holmgren. And you're from Nashville. Yeah. And you, you're a country artist out there, and you're in California right now. First so, time. Okay, first, first time. time. So tell me how it's been. It's been a blast. Okay. It's been a blast. Well, technically, I was here when I was like six years old, so it's been 25 years, but it's yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Okay, great. Have you gotten to do a lot of fun stuff outside of performing, or? Uh, we've only been here for for just a few days, and we're heading back first thing in the morning. So, uh, but we're hoping to come out and do some more shows out here again, and be able to get a little more of that in. So we did a little hiking and you know some of the hills and okay. stuff and you know so we, we've had a good time. Well that's good. That's good. And you got to open tonight for Wade Hayes. I did. How was that for you? Oh that was fabulous. I, I've been a huge Wade Hayes fan for a long time. So I mean I'm a big 90s country. I, it's just I love that stuff. So this was a, this was a super fun night. It, it was definitely an honor to it, do it. It was great to see you in the meet and greet line and get to talk to him. I was like oh. I loved it. It was great. It was, it was. It was. It was really great. And I know that he was honored, actually. You know, to see you and to talk to you about it. He yeah, so that was. Happy. I mean, that that's great because you know that's to me that's what this is all about is you know really right. staying humble and understanding you know where those fans are and yeah. the fact that it's really all about that. Right. So. Right. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. The fans. The fans are what make it all possible. And exactly. I love it when artists actually acknowledge that because sometimes, unfortunately, they they don't always. Right. Um, so you started playing when you were six years old. I did. Yeah. I did. It's been a long time. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> who, got, who got you your first instrument? Uh, my parents made the mistake when I was six years old of buying me a guitar for Christmas. Oh, nice. So, yeah. And then uh, over the years, I, I got another one a couple of years after that from my aunt. She was a, she's the choir director at the church I grew up going to, mm -hmm. you know, the typical small town family right. type thing. Uh, and I just I started playing, and uh, up until I was probably about 18, I was totally self-taught on guitar. Oh, wow. So I, you know, and then I did a little, I mean, I mostly am self-taught with all of it. I've just done some studying with friends and certain things like that. So I've never taken official paid-for lessons or anything like right. that. But wow. Being self-taught so. is pretty incredible. Do you write songs as well? I do. I do. Most of what I played tonight was, was, what, was all original stuff. I did two covers, but most of it was okay. all my stuff. All right, that's awesome. Now, when when did you start actually performing? When did you know that you wanted to do this as a career? Oh, probably when I was in the second grade. The first time I ever was involved with performing something, I was I was the lead role in the second play in the Pied Piper. <laughs> that was my first chance to sing in front of people. Oh, and walk around and strut my thing with a kazoo in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's so awesome. So obviously, you have a lot of family support then. And I do. I do. That's yeah, my family's been great about it. You know, I mean, it, it was a it was a real quick change of decision that I just thought I wanted to do it and I moved to Nashville three months after I decided I was going to make that jump and I had never been to the state of Tennessee in my life let alone Nashville and I packed up a U-Haul and just showed up. Wow. So I mean when you when you know you want to do it you know you want to do it. You, you definitely chase that dream and it's yeah. paying off for you. And it has so yeah. What do you have coming up? I, I know you're flying back out to Nashville. Uh, we fly today. back tomorrow and then uh, we'll be there for a while and then um, I think we're probably going to be coming back out here sometime soon to do a couple more dates and then uh, I'm not sure from that point on but we're in the middle of a pitch project right now so I've been working with a new EP and getting in with labels and I'm working with Jeff Huskins right now who is um, he was in Little Texas and right. worked with Clint Black and all those guys in the 90s. So, so you're in good hands. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. That's but great. that's we're, we're really focusing on that right now. So that, That's great. I love that. So now how can fans get in touch with you? How can they? Uh, you can Google my name. I'm the first thing that pops up on there. So okay. And uh, it's just H-O-L-M-G-R-E-N. And then, or you can just go to ericholmgrenmusic.com and all my social media is just linked right okay. on there so they can find everything. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and I'll write an article. We will include those links for you. Awesome. So, all right. Well, thank you well, so much for taking the time. I'm thank so you. glad, and we wish you the best. And yeah. we're gonna keep our eye on you. And great. I appreciate keep that. Keep up with you, and until next time, guys.